Hey, it's the AK Option Trader back at you. Sorry I've been gone, gone, gone so long. I've been gone so long. But uh, it's basically been due to internet problems. I had to rewire my whole internet system basically in the house. It took a couple weeks. I didn't do it. I had somebody come out and do it. Anyway, so that's been the issue. Um, I'm going to try to keep these videos coming uh, two to three a week if I can. If not, two to three a month. But they will come. It may be a while. They will come. I'll just keep them going as I get time. So I had time tonight while I'm uploading video for my other blog. All right, so today, this is video six. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to talk about tweezers. Tweezers. Bottom or top, okay? Tweezer bottom should be the same price. Tweezer top should be the same price. What does that mean, Glenn? Well, here's what it means. This means that these tops, if it's going to be a tweezers tops, the top prices should match, like these two here. If it's a tweezers bottoms, the bottom prices should match, okay? My favorite is when they're shaved. If you got shaved bottoms or shaved tops, those are my favorite. That's why I put these on here. That's what I like to see. So if this market was going up and you had these two candles right here like this, that would be bearish. If the market was going down and you had these two candles here like this, that would be bullish. Same here, if the market's going down and you have this candle and it bottoms here, the exact same price as this candle, and then rallies, that would be bullish. It would rally off here. Same thing here, if you're going up, all of a sudden you have this candle, tops off here, pulls back, you have this candle, comes up, tops off, same price, and pulls back down, closes a little lower, doesn't matter. It's wherever the higher the low is, um, that would be bearish. What this is telling you is here, the sellers can't get beneath this price, so it'll probably rally. And it's telling you here, the buyers can't get above this price, so it'll probably drop. These candles do not have to appear right next to each other. I prefer it that way. Some people trade them three to five candles apart. I wouldn't go to more than three candles apart. So if you had this and then three candles and then this, and you can put a line right on here and you'd see it, then you know you got a tweezers or what we would call a double top in, in a candle pattern. So that's basically what it is. So the same price at the bottom or the same price at the top. Okay. Um, my favorite is when they're shaved bottoms or shaved tops like these here. Okay. Um, so if this was on the bottom, if this is on a top and both these tops were shaved, I don't care what the bottom looked like. Both the tops are shaved like this. I would love that. That would be a play. These are hard to find real good tweezers. There's lots of marginal tweezers out there. Um, I wouldn't say lots, but tweezers are hard to find. So when you see them, you should play them. All right, on to the charts. All right, so for a tweezer study, I have chosen AAPL, ticker symbol, which is Apple Inc., which is the Apple computer, iPhone, iPod, yada, yada, yada group. So let us get started. Now, <clears throat> this is a daily chart. We're going to start on daily, and then I'm going to pop out to a weekly, okay? So anyway, what I want to tell you on this is on the daily or hourly, or if you're going to use anything daily or less, the closer the prices are together, the more important. If you're going to use a weekly or a monthly chart, the prices can be off a little bit and it'll still form as a, as a tweezer. And you'll see that. So let's get started. I got some circle here, but let's just go through and look. I mean, if okay, so let's look right here. Right here, you can see these aren't exactly together. If you put your cursor on it, you can look up at the top up here and right up in here, it'll tell you information. So I put my cursor right on this, okay? All right, so the high was 1888 and the low was 1833. If I go to this candle here, it says the high was 1916 right here. Here's the high and here's the low. So let's go to this candle here and I'll just keep it on that candle. Come straight up. Look at this trick. See that? Boom, boom, boom. So here's that candle. So the high was uh, 1916, the low was 1836. So these were three cents off. But some people would call them tweezers. Good enough. So bottom tweezers right here, it would move up. Here we go again. I can draw a line. I can tell these are going to be different. So the low here is 1934, and the low here is 1933, one cent. So this would be a good set of tweezers right here. All right. One penny. I'd play a penny here. So you got an up move. You got bottom tweezers. It looks like it should continue to go up. Okay. So there's a set of tweezers there. Okay. The bottoms are the same. All right. <clears throat> Here's one I dialed out here for you already. Look at that. Okay, so here's a hanging man, right? And then this price here, the high of here, which probably opened at that price, to be honest with you, is a top that matches the price of the hanging man. If I was to put a line, you can see my line there. If I was to put a line right on there, I have got myself a tweezers top, which is signal a down move, which it did. All right. <clears throat> so you're going to see them all over like that. So let's. I've got some more highlighted here. Oh, here's another one. Look at this. So this is cool. This is off by a penny or two. But here's a tweezers bottom, right? So you're looking at this going, man, this should be a nice up move coming out of here. But guess what? We gap down. Hey, what happened? 
Well, probably earnings or some kind of news came out. News can kill you. You got to pay attention to the news. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't beat yourself up. If you were to get in this play, which I would not until after I had a confirmation, I'd be looking at this saying, okay, if I, if I get an update more, I'm in. Um, that's my confirmation, but uh, I wouldn't have played it off of just the tweezers. Normally, unless those are both shaved, then sometimes I will jump the gun a little bit and play them. Okay, that's for a weekly one. Um, that's for a weekly one. All right, here's a couple good ones here. <clears throat> Another one here, you can see the tops. They're the wicks up here. I prefer the bodies, the real bodies, but you can play them with the wicks. These wicks are exactly the same, okay? Exactly the same. You got a nice up move here. Boom, 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 coming up. Top, top. You see this? Oh, this is, should be good downplay, and it was. I'd see this open up here, and it start turning down. I might get in after the first hour. Okay, this is going to be good. Here, 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 and then hopefully you're selling somewhere in here before it starts back up again. If you hold on to it, you can see this up move started again, and look at We formed another tweezer top right here on these two candles. I'm just putting this line so you can see it. Exact same price. All right, exact same price, uh, um, 1261 or 1262, right in there. All right, and it's also look at what is this? What is it? Bearish engulfing. So you got a tweezers with a bearish engulfing. I would play that without confirmation. As it's closing the end of the day, I jump in that, and I put my stop right above this top right here. That's where my stop would be. And we'll talk about stops. Look at that play. It would have been Butimus Maximus all the way down there. All right. So that was a real nice tweezers there. Let's see if we can find some more. Okay, here are these. I marked these just to show you. These are the exact same price, okay? This one and this one. Even this one's close. But look at There's two candles in between. This can still be played as a tweezers. This, What this is telling you is this market tried one, two, three times to beat this level, okay? It tried to bust above this level. It could not do it. It's probably going to drop before it does it, and it did, all right? So... We're running out of time, so let me see if I can find one more in the daily here. Um, all right. Let's go to the weekly. Here's one here. This is a nice one. Two tops. Boom, boom. And it's almost a bearish engulfing going down. So that's a tweezer top. That's real nice. Now we're going to change the weekly real quick just to show you. I can show you some on a weekly chart and see how they look. All right. So let's go to a weekly. Do, 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 do. Okay, here's a weekly chart. Now you can see the difference. All right. Now, I might play that because this is a weekly chart, okay? So the difference is, is a, a little more negligible. And also, you can see it was tested down here deep. But this area here, I know there's going to be support. It looks like this whole area, I would say this whole area here has got support. And I'd probably be looking for a bounce out of here, okay? I tried to break in that area three times, wasn't able to do it. So that's the tweezers bottom. Here's a nice tweezers top. You got a nice rally coming up. Look at this. Boom, boom. Nice top, very similar. Not exactly the same. It moved down. No. It kind of bounced up on here. So that wouldn't have been a great play off of a weekly, okay? It's a lot harder to play off a weekly. You're not going to play options off of a weekly chart, okay? Here's a weekly here. This is the same chart. Remember on a weekly, nice tweezers bottom. Look at that. Bang, bang. Perfect. Right here in the bottom. Boom. Goes sideways for a bit before taking off and does move up eventually. All right? Not right away. Look at this one. Now, these are the kind I look for. See, there's barely any wick on the bottom here. All right? And these are, if this bottom matches perfectly, that would be a beautiful tweezers, okay? These are what I look for, the shaved bottoms on these. Those are my kind of plays. You got a little bit of a down move. Look at that. Twice it tried to reach the bottom. Look at the move that happened after that. That's why I like those, okay? The shaved bottoms or the shaved tops right here, when they don't have the wicks, I like those. These, they got wicks, but they're good tweezers. But they're not as strong of moves as you can see. Here's one here. Look at this. This is pretty right here. These are almost exact identical candles, okay? And this here and this here. And they cause a nice up move. Nice tweezers play there. Anyway, I hope you get the idea. I think I'm out of time. Here's a nice one. Look at this. Nice one off the top. Double top. Same height. Moving down. So I think we're about out of time. Anyway, so there's the tweezers pattern for you. If you got questions, go ahead and email me. Uh, leave a comment. I'll get back to you on that. So there's the tweezers pattern. Now you need to go out and look for them yourself and then trade them. Remember, I like the shaves, bottoms. I like them right next to the other. Some people play them apart like these two here would be. So this will be the AK Option Trader signing out. Trade well. Mm -hmm.